Hello, this is Spartan Commander, and this is uh, the 51st, uh, sorry, 52nd Rome Total War uh, Brotherhood Battle that I put onto YouTube. Uh, the team I'm in today consists of Brotherhood member Talos, who has bought the Rome Brutio faction. Uh, myself, Spartan Commander, who has bought the Macedon faction. Now, I don't usually bring Macedon, so this is an experimental army, and uh, this battle will be an experiment for me as well, so just be interesting to see how well this does. My other teammate is uh, Wolves a Clansman Snapdragon, who has bought the Rome Scipio faction, and Greek Cleomenes, who has bought the Greek Cities faction. So that's our team at the moment. This is an unusual game because um, most of the players on this game requested this battle to be put onto YouTube because it's such a great game. So I hope you all enjoy watching it. I thought at this stage of the battle um, I will show you my experimental Macedon army here. As you can see um, I've got about 12 um, pikemen. Um, and four Cretan archers and four cavalry here. If you notice I've got two um, Macedon pike units in open order in front of my main battle line. Um, that's to take the uh, Rome pilers. Um, that's why I've put them there. And as you can see here is the infamous um, Macedon uh, companion cavalry with their winged helmets. So that's my experimental Macedon army. Uh, let's see how it does in this battle. And here is the other team here. We have an uh, RTW player called F, who has bought the Rome Julio faction. We have Titans clan member The Beast, who has bought the Rome SBQR faction. We have Heavens clan member Coda, who has bought the Germania faction. And then we have Greeks Diomedes, who has bought the Seleucid faction. So that's the enemy team there, and uh, that looks quite a good team. Uh, also, I like um, to have a lot of different factions in this battle as well. Should be interesting to watch. I thought at this stage of the battle I would pause the game so we could have a look at the uh, disposition of all the armies here. As you can see, there's half the Seleucid pike um, and, uh, are there facing... Um, our a Greek city's um, ally there. So obviously the Seleucid army is split uh, his army up there, half there, half on the other flank. And as you can see we have um, our uh, Scipioi ally there. And then we have um, the other half of the Seleucid army on the other flank there with their uh, tank cataphract cavalry over there on the left. And we have the Germania faction and some of the SBQR faction um, facing our teammate Talos there. If you notice, my Mastodon pointmen are at the rear there, ready to move to try and help where needed. At this stage of the battle, you can see that the Seleucid Cataphrank tank cavalry have moved around to our left flank there, and now attacking my Mastodon companion cavalry. I waited for them to get close and then charged in there. But as you can see, the Mastodon um, Cavalry and pikemen are moving around to our left flank there, and you can see that the enemy SBQR cavalry are out to our left as well, ready to charge in as well. So, as you can see, our left flank is under quite a heavy attack there. I moved some of my Macedon and pikemen out um, of the main formation there to take on the uh, Seleucid pikemen that have moved around to our left. And as you can see, some of the SPQR cavalry are now charging in, and our teammate Wolf Snapdragon um, with his uh, Scipioi cavalry are now moving his cavalry over to help. As you can see, there's a lot of aggressive attacking um, taxes going on here on our left flank. And as you see, the uh, Berserkers have just been activated. You can see their red um, banners glowing on and off there where the uh, Berserkers have been activated. I'm hoping they're going to attack my pikemen because I think, as you've seen in other um, battle videos of mine, we try to um, get enemy Berserkers to attack our pikemen because the pikemen kill them quite quickly. Um, so as you see, things are looking pretty bad on our left at the moment. Several of my Macedon point units have routed already. Uh, Macedon morale is not that good anyway, so um, 
with all the uh, the enemy that were attacking them, I'm not surprised it's, uh, a couple of the units uh, actually routed there. The the I think our Greek city's saved. allies just lost his general there. Burst. If you notice behind us, we have got enemy red people. Julii cavalry charging in. If they hit the back of my uh, pipe, my fighting pikemen, they could rout them. As you see, I've spotted that. Brought my general across to try and stop the attack there, but a lot of the Julio cavalry have charged through there. Your general now lies dead because of his foolishness. His men will lose. As you see, one of my Macedon units is already um, routed there. As you see, we're facing uh, we're facing three berserkers plus all of SPQR's infantry here. I've paused the game here for us to take stock of what's happening here. As you can see, um, we have got all the. Uh, SBQR infantry plus three berserker units bearing down on us on this flank plus we've just had that Julii cavalry smash into the rear of us as well there um, so if you look at the general situation you'll see that um, things are not looking very good for us on the flank you can see that uh, the enemy cavalry are free roaming there as well um, up behind us so um, things are not looking very good uh, on the battlefield for our team And as you can see, the uh, enemy uh, Julii um, infantry there are moving forward as well. Plus, we've got the other half of the fresh Seleucid pikemen there over on uh, over on the right as well, moving towards us. So um, things are not looking um, not looking that good at the moment for our team. In fact, I would think at this stage of the battle, um, it looks like. Um, We've lost our left flank, and I would think probably uh, that would lead to uh, maybe the uh, of losing the game as well here. As you managed to uh, rout uh, some of those uh, um, Julio cavalry that charged in behind us there, but if you notice that uh, there's a lot of German cavalry charging down on us, and Talos has put an infantry line out there to stop the attack which was a great move by Talos because he stopped all that cavalry plowing into the rear of us there so um, that was a, a, a great move by Talos and notice here that um, the Greek city's general is moving his Spartans out behind the enemy behind the enemy slain. SBQR and, and German uh, units there the now it's a great move because my Macedon units are kind of um, if you like the anvil here holding steady where he moves in with his Greek city's Spartans there and we could route a lot of enemy troops here if you notice the berserkers are still fighting there as well they are a problem but if they're coming in against um, Greek city pikes and my Macedon pikes then there's a good chance we might kill them as you can see as the Spartans start pressing home with their pike attack coming in from the rear there you can see uh, most of the uh, SBQR infantry are starting to rout and I would think it would only be time before all the berserkers are killed now in that situation So as you can see there, um, I think all the SBQR infantry there now has, has routed. The enemy general is slain. And I think and uh, all the, uh, there might be just one berserker unit left, or I think he's just been killed there. So over on our left flank, we've managed to turn round things around a little bit. But over on our right flank here, you can see that um, Snapdragon there is still holding with his um, Scipio uh, units there. But I just see a German cavalry charge has come in and has routed most of Snapdragon's um, Scipio infantry there. So it seems over on our left, uh, over on our left you can see that we've managed to win there. I've paused the game here so we can take stock of the situation. On the right flank here as you can see we seem to have, um, we seem to have lost there and the, uh, that's where most of the enemy team are. And over on the left flank here we're actually, um, we've managed to turn things around a little bit and are managing to, um, to hold there and uh, are starting to rally because um, I would think that the uh, the victorious enemy troops would be coming across soon here as um, both teams there have killed everybody on the uh, opposing flanks there it's just a case of kind of rallying um, as the enemy team have got more troops than us then um, I think uh, we're going to get into a defensive position as soon as we can also have you noticed that there's a heck of a lot of German um, cavalry left there and I don't think we've got any cavalry left at all so in this situation it's always dangerous to have enemy if you like with free roaming cavalry on the battlefield 
that can uh, to get in behind us or hit from any angle with a fast, uh, devastating charge. So we'll have to watch that very carefully. Plus, they've got a lot of infantry left. If you notice, there's a lot of Julii, Rome Julii infantry left, and several Seleucid pikemen units left as well. So um, this is really on a knife edge at the moment. But I think that Germania cavalry could make all the difference here. If uh, if that charges in at the right time at the right place, that could end up uh, causing a mass rout of our armies. As you can see here, the uh, Seleucid um, pikemen are moving out here to our right, and we are uh, going to have to um, to move out to face them there. As I said at the beginning of the game, I, I don't fight with Macedon. It's very rarely that I fight with Macedon here, so this is kind of all new for me. Um, I don't think the Macedon army has done too bad, but. Um, their morale is is very shaky, and um, I'm not sure how well we do here in the final battle with with just units that have been damaged so much. As you can see, the Germania cavalry are moving round to our left flank there, so that'll be uh, it'll be interesting to see where they're going to strike. As you see, the Julii, the enemy Julii infantry are moving forward as well now. As you can see, the Julii infantry are pressing in now onto the uh, onto Talos's uh, Brutii infantry. And as you see, the German cavalry have just charged straight through there in a massive cavalry hit. Um, I was expecting to see more of uh, Talos's infantry break there, but uh, he did really well to hold there. As you see, uh, an SBQR cavalry unit are just attacking my archers, but um, I'm just going to uh, um, counterattack them with the archers there. As you can see, my Macedon units on the right flank, the ones that are left, um, are pretty well routed now. Um, so things are uh, pretty well on the knife edge here. But I still got a feeling that that Germania cavalry, if used properly, could make all the difference in this battle. Talos is holding really well against the, uh, the Julia infantry here. And uh, my Macedon general has just been killed, so I think most of my uh, my Macedon army now is dead. So um, basically, it's Talos and Cleomenes with his uh, Greek cities here are going to have to hold against um, the enemy Julii and German uh, cavalry here. And of course, there's still I think there's a couple of Seleucid pike units left as well here. Looking at the numbers on the battlefield at the moment, looking at how many Julii infantry are left here, plus the Seleucid, plus there's some German cavalry units, so things are still not looking very good for us at the moment. Snapdragon's bought um, a Scipio unit in that must have rallied, so that could make a big a bit of difference there. If you notice, Talos is taking um, his uh, infantry general here over to the right. The My guess is he's going to run round uh, the back of the enemy and charge in there. There you go, he's moving his uh, Brutii infantry out round to the rear of the enemy Julii infantry there. Um, My guess is with a view to charge in behind them. And there's the Seleucid general there as well, so um, if we can kill him... Um, that may well lower the morale of his uh, allies as well, which would be good. As you see, it's still really on a knife point at the moment, but the concentrated Greek um, Spartans that are there, the plus Talos' army is charging this in, could make no all the difference here. To behave, but in battle, in the enemy army is in flight. Pursue them. Drive and there we go, that was the, the, uh, I think that was the last of the enemy units have now been routed. So, what... Uh, 
looked like a definite defeat on our left flank to start off with somehow through really great teamwork and tactics we've managed to turn this battle around and um, I think that old saying about um, great God be snatching um, the enemy victory killed. from the jaws of Fear defeat was very very hearts. true in this game as you can see there I, I bet uh, a lot of you watching this would have believed that our team was uh, was dead there look at the dead on the battlefield here it just goes to show how tough this battle was and it was a really great battle to watch and was a really great battle to be in I would just like to say really well played to everybody in the game. Um, I think that's one of the uh, the closest games I've been in for a while now. Um, also what I liked about this game was um, having the different factions in there as well. I think um, having uh, having Rome v Rome all the time is, is great. But I think actually throwing in some um, different factions into a battle is uh, makes it a bit more interesting as well. I thought the enemy team played extremely well there and got a lot of great kills. And really well played to our team too. Um, I think... Um, the teamwork and uh, great moves by everybody on the uh, on the battlefield was really great to watch. And as I say, I love to be in a really close game. This is Spartan the Commander saying bye for now. Hope you enjoyed the battle and see you soon.